Hi, welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. I'm Susie. So what I'm gonna make today, they're called Dandy Do cookies. I saw this recipe, I think I saw it online, I'm not sure, um, and it looked fun and it's quick and I think uh, it'd be fun, just, just fun to make it. And I think it'd be fun to make with your kids because they could do this. But what this one has in it is Ritz crackers, but I like to use the H-E-B Isa, uh, Isa crackers. It's gonna have a can of sweetened condensed milk. It has a third of a cup of butter, a third of a cup of brown sugar, three tablespoons of regular whole milk, one teaspoon of vanilla. Thank you, Miss Vanessa. We're going to try your vanilla that she made for me. A cup of the peanuts, and I've roughly chopped them. I'll show it to you as we mix them in. And one to two sleeves of the uh, crackers. Now, I did choose the whole wheat. Um, it's already sweet and goody, so maybe we can pretend like that's healthy for us, okay? Um, and then we're gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna continue our project over there. Okay, now I have lined, uh, I've got a piece of parchment paper. Remember I said if you give it a little wrinkle or wet it and then smooth it out on your baking sheet, it won't curl on you as bad, badly. And I'm going to try one sleeve of crackers and see what that looks like. I'm going to just lay them out on my cookie sheet. Okay, now I've used about a, a sleeve and a third. All right, I'm going to turn my burner on about medium high. I'm going to add one can of this sweetened condensed milk. All right, that's a whole can. And the three tablespoons of whole milk. And I have three quarters of a cup of semi-melted butter. It's gonna finish melting in here anyway. Third of a cup of uh, brown sugar. And I firmly packed that in there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna bring this to a boil cook all of these so they're well combined and we're going to cook it for about five or six minutes because we're making a caramel topping for the crackers and remember when you're cooking don't put your vanilla in until you take your pan off the burner um scientifically why i don't know why i don't know if it cooks the vanilla out of it so after this is cooked we're going to add the peanuts which i have i've got a cup here and I've kind of roughly chopped them. And if you like these measuring cups, these are Pioneer Woman's and we'll put a link at the bottom and you can go onto Amazon and order them. It is boiling and you see, I'm gonna continuously to stir this. I've set my timer for five minutes. And when that goes off, then I will pull my uh, saucepan away from the burner, add the vanilla and the peanuts. So we've got about five minutes, but please don't uh, quit stirring it. It's one of these consistent, constantly stirring because if, I, if you don't, it's gonna burn on the bottom and taste a little scorched then, and we don't want that. So you can come back in five minutes and we'll add the peanuts and the vanilla. Now I've pulled the saucepan off of the burner. I'm gonna add the vanilla. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of this delicious homemade vanilla that Vanessa and the girls made. And stir that in. You can see that vanilla is a bubbling. And then I've got the uh, a one full cup of the coarsely chopped peanuts. I'm gonna add that in and toss them around, fold them in, we'll fold them in. And now we actually are going to an additional one minute on that burner. So that's why I didn't turn it off. I just moved it away because I have a electric stove and I'd have to heat back up again. So I'm gonna watch this clock when I hit a minute then we're going to pour it over top of our crackers. It's cooked a minute and I am going to drizzle it over top of my crackers. Now there's going to be some crackers, I mean some of the uh, topping that's hit this parchment paper. Um, you know what? You're just going to pull it up and eat it like candy. Don't waste this. 
because that's what we've made is candy for the tops of these little crackers. And you notice that I used a, a non-stick saucepan and I've used one of these silicone spatulas because this kind of stuff really sticks. Okay, now all I'm doing is trying to get my little dandy doos covered. We do not have to put this in the oven and bake it. I'm going to set it aside and let it cool. Okay, now we're going to come back in a little bit, probably maybe an hour, and give them a try um, and see how they taste because they're very hot. I, would, I wouldn't dare put one of these in my mouth right now. So we'll see you in about an hour. All right, we're back with our dandy doos, and I've pulled some of them off and put them on a plate. They are kind of sticky. I Since I've never made them, I wasn't sure. So you might want to take like an offset knife or a spatula so you can pull them off. And I don't know if I would stack them too much together till they completely, I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to get hard, hard, but I'm gonna give one a try. Oh, I don't think they're supposed to get hard. I think they're supposed to be like an icing. That's very good. The cracker stayed crunchy, the caramel icing, and the peanuts. So maybe what I did wrong was completely cover them. Maybe just make sure you get a little bit on the inside of the cracker and leave a little bit of the cracker showing. And it wouldn't be quite as messy. But I'm okay with it because I'm going to eat all the mess. <laughs> They're called dandy doos. So give them a try create your own, make them your own. And um, always remember to subscribe, like, and share our YouTube channel to be alerted on Wednesdays. And on Thursday, sometimes I run a contest or just say hello on our Facebook page. Please join us in there and make comments, talk, communicate back and forth with us. And if you don't have a place to worship, please join us at any one of our Glad Tidings churches, one church, five locations. We would welcome you with open arms at any one of them. We would love to have you. God bless and have a wonderful week and have a dandy do.